Greetings and salutations, Chargers. This is Brucey and Tony reporting to you from the WRSN studio. We got a pretty sweet show for you today. Indubitantly. Vamos! Brucey, where is your jacket? What do you mean, G? It was frigid this morning. Aren't you chilly? No, I already have ice in my veins. I was unaffected. You know what else is cool? College. Correct. Colleges coincidentally came to campus and conveyed their curriculum. Let's take it to Alex for a recap of this year's college fair. Students and parents come from all over the county to Suncoast Annual College Fair, featuring over 80 different schools from around the country. As the longest running college fair in the county, it is open to anyone who wants to meet with the admissions officers at their dream school. The school showcase took place in the gym, where each school had handouts and ambassadors open for questions. There were also breakout sessions explaining the various aspects of the college admissions process. However, much went on behind the scenes. Devery Yezar and Carolyn Santa Maria, PTSA members and organizers of the college fair, Talk more about what went into the making of this event. So um, we started planning this event in July. And um, after July, around August, we started meeting with counseling services every week. We did a weekly meeting. Uh, we had a very long checklist of all the different details that went into the event, from um, inviting the reps, to gym preparations, to decorations, to marketing, um, everything that it took to really get this event together. Prior to the start of the event, the PTSA welcomed the attending colleges with a dinner. They also ran check-in and assisted with setting up the gym. Overall, the students attending found it worthwhile. I ended up looking at FSU and just a lot of different colleges that I originally didn't consider. I got the opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one with a bunch of people from the schools and get to know some information that I wanted to know and learn about their campus and academics that I feel like I wouldn't be able to find just online. Colleges at the fair also think it is beneficial to talk to their prospective students face to face. So one of the benefits of coming and seeing me in person that means that you can ask individual questions um, and get that answer immediately. Um, I go to schools like Suncoast and I give talks and presentations where I will give you all the information that you need. But coming up one by one means that I can answer those special questions that maybe uh, I'm not covering when I go over the basic presentation. Thanks to the PTSA, administration, volunteers, and other staff members for making this year's college fair successful. Reporting for WRSN, this has been Alex Osquadra. Thanks, Alex. Hey, Tony. Where are Average Things Manufactured? Ah, I'm stumped. The satisfactory. No. Oh. <laughs> but seriously, our athletes are not average at all. 75 players were eligible to attend soccer conditioning last week, and one ninth grader beat them all. Congratulations to Ija Marcelli for being crowned Mr. Fitness for his performance in push-ups, pull-ups, and running. Hey, Tony, weren't you there? I don't want to talk about it. Well, let's talk about UNICEF's and their crafts for change. Let's roll it on over to Sophia for the inside scoop on UNICEF. Crafts for Change and UNICEF had a club meeting together to create cards for teachers for World Teacher Day. The goal was to create as many cards as possible to hand out and thank our teachers. Zinli talks more about how the turnout was. So I think today was very successful as we made a lot of cards, uh, as UNICEF and Class for Kids both brought in a lot of students. And also, I really hope that the teachers appreciate all the cards that the students made. Both clubs have contributed to the community and continue to help others. Many of the students were happy to write to their teachers. Alex talks about his experience. My favorite part about the club yesterday was that we got to make cards for our teachers and we got to pick what teachers we could write to. So I wrote to my four favorite teachers, and yeah, I'm excited to give out the cards today, and I hope they like my cards. Overall, both clubs brought in many people helping each club. Caden talks more about the collaboration of the two clubs. In terms of like uh, working together with Crafts for Change, it's been pretty cool. Um, we got to get a lot more students involved in making cards for World Teachers Day, so the more the better. 
and I'm really excited moving forward for USEF to keep doing good things. The meeting was a success, and the kids made many cards for their teachers. This has been Sophia reporting for WRSN. Happy World Teachers Day! Thank you, Sophia. All right, ready? One, two, three. Sports! <laughs> How's it going, Chargers? It's Kaden back at you again with another banger sports report. There were no sports happening on campus yesterday, but today, our girls' volleyball team plays American Heritage at 7 o'clock in the district semifinals. Make sure to come out and support our Lady Chargers. Girls' golf will also be playing an away game at Berean Christian tomorrow. Both girls and boys' swimming will be competing in the district tournament, as well as boys' golf against Dreyfus. Speaking of golf, let's check out what Ella and JV had to say about the girls' golf match on October 5th. On Thursday, October 5th, the girls' varsity golf team competed away against Colonel Newman. The girls played their hearts out, but unfortunately didn't come out with the victory. Each girl played nine holes, with each hole being a par 3, 4, or 5. Coach McCann talks about how the girls have done this far and what they can improve on. What I like about my team is that they really like each other. They have good teamwork. They like to come to practice. They like being around each other. They help each other. They listen to each other. We have a good time at practice, but we focus and we do practice. Um, so I like that. I like these girls. They're good, they're nice people. Senior captain Stella expresses her thoughts on the match. Um, as a team, we didn't do like great, but we have a lot to work on. And like our short game, like our putting and chipping, but I feel like we can definitely like make it to districts and hopefully regionals. So we're definitely looking forward for that. And yeah. As the girls have the rest of the season to look forward to and improve to get ready for districts and regionals coming up. This has been Ella and JV reporting for WRSN. That's all for me today, Chargers. Let's send it back to Tony and Brucey in the studio. All right, let me try, let me try. One, two, three. Birthdays! Please complete on those chargers. Thank you for tuning in to Brucey and Tony. Have a great day.